Hi, everybody. Okay, I wanted to come back to you all about a video that I did recently. And it's two different ones, and I'll put the link to the bottom below. And it's about release. So, I know that God is doing this for a purpose and a reason. And I told you all that I was coming back with an even bigger testimony than the second one that I came back with. Because I know what it is that God is doing in this season. And the reason why he is doing this is because he want number one, he want people to understand that his promises are coming to pass. Number two, he want people to be relevant. He want people to be real. He want people to show other people what it is that he is doing in their life in their lives because too many people are not coming back with testimonies. And of course, I always bring this back to when God healed the people, how only one came back to say thank you. So we have to always remember to come back to say thank you. So I am telling you all the release is now. And that's in Deuteronomy 15 and 1, I believe. I don't want to quote the wrong thing, but I'll put the scripture down below. So the word of the Lord is release. I'm telling y'all, and I said this in two previous videos about release. So I'm coming to you all this time with the testimony about release. So it was about like two weeks ago that this lady, I wish I remember her name, that this lady um, prophesied over my family and I, and as well as a few other people, because my daughter and I had to go minister at a, um, at a church we were invited to. We had to minister and dance. And she specifically spoke about how debts are going to be canceled, about how debts are going to be just null and void. So I'm going to show you all the bill at the end of this video, but I just want to um, show my face to let you all know that the time is now and I'm coming with another video, but I want to finish this one. So release the Lord says the time is now and it's released. So I'm going to show you all this, um, this bill. My husband and I have been trying to dispute this bill for maybe the past two months. And we're not going to say that we didn't have, would you say ownership? I don't want to say ownership. Well, I'm not going to say that we didn't say that the bill was not ours, if that makes any sense to you. But what we didn't want to do is limit God. We didn't want to limit God because what happened is, and that's a part of another testimony, we had a recent move and the bill was because the contract was, um, the contract was canceled, basically. You know how y'all sign these yeah, I'm going to say y'all because I'm not signing them with contracts. You know how you sign these contracts and then if you um, if you stop the contract or you mess up the contract in between the two-year period, three-year period, whatever it is, you are still responsible for that bill, right? So we were like, we really had no control over what transpired and what happened. So we were calling the people, calling the people. And I hadn't heard back from the lady in about a week to see like exactly what it is that um, what was going to happen with the bill. So I called the lady and then I left a voice message and I just simply said, you know, I was just calling to see what was going on with the bill, whether or not we should make payment arrangements or whether or not you were able to talk to the lady to see what can happen or what, you know, happened. So I'm telling y'all, I didn't hear my phone ring. So she left a voice message and I hope I saved that. And the voice message specifically said, Miss Nelson, I truly apologize for not getting back with you in a timely manner, but I want to let you know that we have taken care of it and you all do not have to pay that amount. And I'm telling y'all when you see the amount, well, I'll just tell you. It's over a thousand and something dollars that we do not have to pay. And I'm telling y'all, that is the release of the Lord. People like, oh, you know, like this happened, that happened. That is all God's favor. That is all God's favor. It is because who we are, we are God's children. It is because what we've been sowing, we are reaping now in this season. When it comes down to favor, comes down to blessings, come down to rewards, come down to gifts, which is another story <laughs> by itself on the gifts that people have been blessing me with. And I'm so, y'all just don't know how appreciative um, I am of that because I'm a giver and I'm going to continue to be a giver until Jesus comes back or whatever transpires first but I just want to tell y'all it is release time so hold on I'm gonna show y'all this bill at the end of this video and this bill 
we don't have to pay it. It is paid in full. So that's what the Lord says. It is paid in full and it is released. Hold on to his promises because everything that you have been seeking him for, everything that you have been praying for, that you have been holding fast to his word, to his word, it is now coming to pass. All right. Bless y'all. Grace and mercy. So if you all can see this, this bill, it's a hundred, I'm sorry, a hundred. <laughs> this bill is $1,151 and 66 cents. And guess what? It's been paid in full. So another thing the Lord told me to tell you all is do not become weary in well doing. And I'll repeat that again and I'll put the scripture to the bottom. Do not become weary in well doing. In the time frame when I had not heard from the lady, whether or not she had spoke with her manager to see whether or not they would dismiss this bill. One thing that we did not do, we did not speak against it. We did not say, okay, well, I guess it, um, she wasn't able to do it because I'll be honest with you. Two bills, no one bill came in between this bill and it still was the same amount plus more. I didn't get discouraged. I wrote, actually, I wrote paid in full across the bill. I've been doing that with a lot of my bills that have been coming in with a lot of our bills. I have been writing paid in full. So the word of the Lord is released, y'all. Please hold on to his promises. Hold on to his word and do not give up. That's what the enemy wants you to do. Do not give up. Hold fast to his word. Continue to claim and declare and decree his word.